2008 Chevy Equinox has a problem with the turn signal switch. So we're going to show you how to change it out. We're going to have to remove this paneling here. And we have two screw or three screws, excuse me, down on the bottom underneath here that we're going to take off. They're going to be a seven millimeter. Take those off and then I'll get right back with you. Okay, I've just removed my three screws. And what we're going to need to do next is we can actually separate this top panel from the bottom two pieces. It just pops up. You can slide a screwdriver in the crack there if yours is not popping out quite as easy as this one did. And then the bottom panel is two pieces. I like to pull the tilt down. And these two pieces here actually will clip together. Like that. Okay. Okay, we're going to turn the steering wheel so we can gain access to the two screws. Turn it to about the 7, 8 o'clock position. Just to where you can see that screw. And you actually have to push on the steering wheel here to get that screw out. And we're going to rotate it up to about the 11 o'clock position. And then we can twist that upper screw out. Now, you do have to put some pressure down and actually bend this plastic just slightly because a screwdriver doesn't go straight into it. We have to use a little angle and a little pressure. That is important. Now we'll take the screw out. And we can see here on our new one, there's clips on the top and the bottom. You're gonna actually press down on this clip on your old one right in here or through here on top and bottom and then we're going to pull this slightly out then we'll have to unplug the electrical pull this out there we go now we have better access to our electrical We've got one safety black tab that needs to be pulled towards me to unplug the white connector. And then this safety, you just press it in right there and we'll unplug that one. Okay, I've got the safeties undone. Unplug the two. Swap it out with our new. We're gonna plug it in here. Then we're just going to slide it in here and it should clip on the top and bottom just like that. We can test operation. Now we're just going to reinstall our panels on the bottom and on the top. And we are going to be back in business. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. It will tremendously help me provide you with more how-to videos. Thanks for watching.